Hello everyone. Welcome to my scope. Not sure what happened earlier. It looks like my um, broadcast got cut off. So I'm going to try again. <laughs> um, and hopefully I'll get more people on. So introduce myself. My name is Savvy Mom Elkie of Savvy Moms Unite, where I uh, help women to live a simple, practical, and realistic, fun life. Um, I'm all about trying to make things work within your current situation and improving things so you can live in a live your dreams, live the live the life that you really want to live. Um, so, just a little bit about me. I'm an educator. I'm a mom first, educator, um, life coach, author. I co-authored a book with my sister, and um, uh, chuck full of resources. I love to do research on different things that could help help you know any woman or parent make you know adjustments in their life to help them live a, a better life. So t every Tuesday, my hope is to do uh, budget tips to help um, to help people financially because that's always been a struggle for me, especially as a single mom. I'm dependent on one income to take care of all my needs plus my child. So whenever I could save money, whenever I could spend less, it's always a good win for us. So um, one of the things that I did about a few years ago was to hire a financial coach. I was struggling in this area of my life. I was not having the most um, success in it and I was always living paycheck to paycheck. I, I really struggled to keep money in my account. And so I decided that I needed to really take control over it. So I hired a coach and he introduced me to a, a budgeting app and website called Envelope. So it's M-V-E-L-O-P-E-S. You can download it on your Android or your iPhone. And that's helped me really track my spending. I connected it to my savings and bank account and also to my credit cards as well as my student loans. So what it will do is you're allowed to put money into several envelopes. So it you, it actually uses what people would use, you know, back in the day, an envelope system. They would put cash in an envelope and write um, what bill or how much they were going to spend in that particular envelope and only spend what was put in there. They wouldn't spend anything outside of that. So once that cash was done, you were done for the month. So this allows you to do this on an online system and it is automatic. So I would set my budget for every month and I would say I'm gonna spend this on food, this on hair supplies, this on household products, this on rent and go on and on and on. And whenever I went over, you know, I'd get these like red, <laughs> red numbers that was basically like a warning, you know, you went over or whatever. So when I was first using it, I won't, I will be honest, I did not um, use it the way I should. I was definitely always going over. I, I didn't really have a good handle on my spending because I was just used to spending until I got paid again. That was my attitude. So once I started using it more and being more you know, proactive, I started to realize, you know, maybe I need to check also how I'm spending on particular items. What are killing, what is killing my budget every month? And one of the main killers was my eating out expenses. So what I decided to do was track what I spent eating out over a two week period. And when I tracked it, I realized, okay, coffee is something that I get every morning, like even on the weekends. And that alone was costing me a good bit of money. Like you're talking about five bucks per day on coffee. And um, and if you're doing that seven days a week, that's a significant amount of money being spent on coffee. So I was just spending it without thinking about it, without really get, giving it a second thought. And after two weeks, I'm like, I'm spending well over 60 something dollars just on coffee. And that's not including, you know, going to get, you know, a salad somewhere or going to get a burger somewhere or going to get pizza um, because we didn't cook. You know, I didn't cook in the house. So I was like, all right, you know, we're going to go out to eat. And with me and my daughter, even though I was being frugal at the restaurant, I was still spending a significant amount every day. So... When I tracked the two week spending, I was like, that's a lot to be spending on food, eating out, plus we're buying groceries as well for me to cook. 
um, I've got to make a decision. I've got to spend less in eating out and I've got to, you know, maybe boof, you know, beef up my groceries so that I can have more, you know, food throughout the week. Um, maybe cooking on the weekends for the week, like doing different things to kind of help with that. But with the coffee, after I figured out, okay, I'm spending this amount on coffee, I'm going to have to invest in a coffee pot. But I wanted to be able to make nice gourmet coffee because I love, like I love when I walked into the coffee uh, um, shop and smelled the coffee and the barista. I just love the atmosphere. So I was like, you know what? I want that similar taste. I want that similar feel when I have the coffee. So I'm going to invest in a Keurig. So I started looking at, okay, how much would a Keurig cost? And um, what would I spend on K-Cups? And when I did the math, over time, I saved a lot more money. So the K-Cups cost about 40-something cents or less, depending on how, you know, where you get it. And if I'm accounting for even the creamer and maybe, you know, the syrup that I might put in to make a latte, it still was not coming up to the same per cup um, as it was when I was going into the coffee shops and spending that money. So I had to justify, you know, am I going to, I had to justify, you know, am I going to keep spending this because that's something I desire or do I need to be mindful of the cash that I could save and put it to other, you know, I could put it to a savings for a rainy day account because that's one of my goals is to build that rainy day account and make sure that for every time something goes wrong, um, I'm, that cash is available. I'm not using credit cards to save me. So what I would suggest you do, track your spending on something that you know could be eating at your budget for two weeks and see what you spend. And think about, okay, so what if I didn't spend the money on this? What could I save? And what, I could, I, what could I use towards purchasing something that will still give me what I like, but I'm not spending that kind of money? So for me, it was coffee. But what for you? that you need to consider so that you're not overspending or killing your budget every month because you're overspending a particular um, area. So once again, this is Savvy Mom Elkie of Savvy Moms Unite, helping moms to live a practical, um, realistic, and um, simple life and giving you tips to help you with your finances, parenting, um, obtaining your goals, living your dreams. Thanks again. I appreciate you. I appreciate you coming.